It's something they have hidden from you. Let me show you what really happened. Aveline. Gérald, he is back. Vasquez, the company man. Have any of your informants seen him? No. Aveline, since last week I have lost two of my men. Killed. Poison. <sighs> this is his work. I must find him. Perhaps he will attend the Capitan's ball this evening. Shall I confirm your attendance? Oui. Thank you, Gérald. And, um, Aveline, I... Uh, you will need someone to accompany you. I don't suppose... Uh... Gérald, are you asking to accompany me? Uh, well... Uh, oui. Uh, for, um, uh, blending purposes, I believe it would be best. Uh, strictly business, <clears throat> of course. Of course. But not too strict, I hope. Revolution! <laughs> what a noble concept! Of course, war is always good for business. Particularly a war that's not in our territory. The good Spanish governor provides the goods, I relay them to my associates in the bayou, and they handle the... transfer. Completely bloodless. <laughs> for me! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Aveline, lovely as ever. How does your father fare? Stubborn, as always. I look forward to seeing him on his feet soon. You must allow me one dance, that I may showcase your grace in your father's stead. That is very kind, Monsieur de Saint-Maxin. And if you could perhaps waltz me by your esteemed associate in the blue cravat, I have a business opportunity I'd like to put before him. Evelyn, always so serious. Nothing like my daughter Marie Félicité. Do you think I should marry? <laughs> um, whichever of us is the best dancer. You would have me dance with all of you? I shall be exhausted. Please, senorita, allow me to save you the trouble. You need only dance with me. <laughs> Marie Felicite, I thought the Duce Maxon girls only had eyes for governors. Now, who is this? Senorita, give us your name. That we may know how to address the fairest woman at the bar. Fair? I think not. But still, your complexion is beguiling. Uh, please, senorita, allow me to complete your dance card. I'm afraid it's already full. That is simply her way. Have you heard? She prefers her father's warehouse to two parties. Never calls on any of us. Believe the uniform. He is no true military man. Mm -hmm. I assure you. Uh, twice, oh, recruiters have approached me, me claiming to offer me promotion if I'll serve in his secret unit. Uh, but I don't trust it, no, senor. Good man. We could use more young men like you, with a head on their shoulders. Good evening, senorita. 
Uh, you look familiar. Uh, were you at the governor's dinner party last week? <laughs> I'm so sorry, I don't remember your name. Perfectly understandable for a man with such important affairs as yours, Capitan. Thank goodness for your service in the colony. The thanks is all mine, senorita. Will you allow me to express it with a dance? Why, certainly, Capitan. I should warn you to be careful, senorita. Even here at this delightful party, the danger is present. All soldiers are not what they appear. <laughs> we were just discussing a terrible man. How scandalous! Is he here tonight? He is, at this moment, seated at a secluded table. Until the gavotte, Capitan. I shall think of nothing else. Why, I do believe the minuet is the next dance, Senor Vasquez. Si, si. Can we retire somewhere private to discuss it? Si, si. Lead the way. Good night, company man. Company man? <laughs> no. You are mistaken. What? <laughs> Futile murder. A beautiful death. She will make you suffer. Uh. Madeleine! Avelyn! I did not know you were attending. I came only to find you. How could you? A ball with your father on his deathbed. I... Save your words. It is too late. He is gone. Papa! No. I am so sorry, but you had to know with your circumstances that he could not leave you anything. Of course, my house remains open to you. I care not about his will, only that he has gone. His business is in my name, but I consider it yours. The law has no place between us.
Although the reconstruction of our network has required an investment of several years, the help of our American friends means we can now reach further than before. One of our newest informants sends word of a loyalist in New York who might, with a little pressure, unmask the company man. Please, go to New York and find your brother Connor. I have enlisted his help in locating Officer Davidson of Lord Dunmore's Ethiopian Regiment. Connor? I'm Aveline de Grand Pré, your brother from New Orleans. Yes. Achilles told me you would come. I seek a loyalist, Officer Davidson, of Lord Dunmore's Ethiopian regiment. That regiment passed through here. Look at the destruction they left. Their trail leads this way. We will follow them carefully. Over there, through the trees. A trap! Keep after the century. I will hold off these men. Unhand me! One chance to keep your life. Where is Davidson? Who? Come on, time's up. He's in the fort. That was easy. Why is it you call yourselves loyalists again? Easier to be loyal in the safety of the fort than out in the snow with a knife to your neck. Run home, now. And don't let me see you again. You won't be able to run then. Yes, ma'am. To the fort! We climb. <laughs> 